Forget everything you thought you knew about the next wave of smartphone chips, because Qualcomm just flipped the entire game board. Their new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 isn't just a faster chip, it's a monster that's already smashing records before it even launches. We're talking 4.2 to 4.4 million points on Antu 2. That's not just high, that's the highest number ever seen on a phone chip. And that's just the beginning, because what's hiding under the hood might actually change the way our phones feel in everyday use. Hey, welcome back everyone. James here. If you love these deep dives into the latest tech, hit like, share this with your friends, and subscribe so you never miss the next big update. Now here's where things get spicy. This new Snapdragon isn't playing by the old rules. It's running two Monster Prime cores at a jaw, dropping 4.61 GAs, plus six high performance cores at 363 GHz. Add in the brand new Adreno 8040 GPU at 1.2 GHz, and suddenly we're staring at a chip built for more than just benchmarks. Think console, level gaming, next gen AI tools, and crazy battery efficiency all at once. Qualcomm even gave it a new badge, a light. And this isn't just marketing fluff. This is the first chip using Qualcomm's Orion CPU cores, tech they've been quietly working on ever since they bought Nuvia back in 2021. From now on, every Snapdragon flagship will carry that elite badge as a mark of dominance. But here's the part no one saw coming. Samsung's S26 Ultra, S26 Pro, and S26 Edge are expected to use a special, for Galaxy, edition of this chip. Historically, that means slightly higher clocks, better thermals, and even faster sustained performance than the regular version. If history repeats itself, Samsung's phones might end up being the ultimate showcase for this chip's true power. Except, this time Samsung isn't putting all its eggs in the Snapdragon basket. The S26 series is bringing back Exynos in a way we haven't seen in years. And this time, it actually might be good. Really good. The Exynos 2600 is Samsung's comeback chip, packing 10 CPU cores on ARM's brand, new C1 architecture, AMD RDA graphics, a redesigned ISP, and a built-in 5G modem. Early Geekbench leaks suggest it could not only compete with Snapdragon's Elite Gen 5, but might actually beat it, and even take down Apple's A19 Pro inside the iPhone 17. That's huge. But what makes this even more exciting is how Samsung seems to have finally fixed the biggest Exynos problem, heat and efficiency. We all remember the overheating, throttling, and battery drain nightmares, but now Samsung has something called Heat Pass, a new thermal control tech that could keep everything cool and stable, even under heavy gaming or 4K video recording. If this works, Exynos goes from void at all costs to actually a reason to buy, and just when you thought that was enough drama, Samsung decided to double down on its dual chip strategy. The S26 Pro and Edge will ship with Exynos 2600 in most markets, while the S26 Ultra will keep the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 worldwide. At first, that might sound like Samsung is cutting corners again, but this time it's about breaking Qualcomm's price grip. Last year, Samsung spent almost 400 million just on Snapdragon chips for the S25 series. That's insane. Now they're building a real competitor that could save them money and, for once, maybe even deliver a better user experience. And we can't talk about the S26 Ultra without mentioning its design glow up. It's getting thinner, 7.8 mum compared to 8.2 mum last year, but somehow keeping the S Pen, which is basically a miracle. The Pro and Edge are slimming down too, but Samsung still found space to squeeze in 300 mm and I more battery. Think about that thinner phones, bigger batteries, faster chips, and more efficient thermals. If this all holds up, we're looking at a lineup that's not just better than the S25 series, but maybe the most balanced Galaxy launch we've seen in years. So here's the question, which chip do you want in your next phone? The record breaking Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 or Samsung's reborn Exynos 2600 that might finally redeem its name? Either way, 2026 is shaping up to be the wildest, most competitive year we've ever seen in mobile tech. 